Mike Fisher is quite the prankster. Carrie Underwood's husband planned a little bit of mischief while in the car this week. The former hockey pro's drive had him crossing paths with Carrie, who was out on a walk with her pal Kara Clark. And instead of saying hello, he decided to sneak up on them and lay on the horn. Both Carrie and Kara seemed less than amused, but Mike couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> Mike's Instagram followers were laughing along with him in the comments. And some said his prank reminded them of a similar one Luke Bryan pulled on his wife last year while she was out on a bike ride. He's about to get train horn and she doesn't know. <laughs> Mike and Carrie seem to have a lot of playfulness in their relationship. When the Drinking Alone songstress celebrated her 38th birthday back in March, her husband gave her a priceless gag gift, a t-shirt that read, I don't need Google, my husband knows everything. Carrie's face says it all, but Mike seemed impressed with his present, captioning the photo, perfect birthday gift, no? He did get her something more sentimental, a bouquet of flowers from him and their sons, Isaiah and Jacob. He wrote on Instagram, happy birthday, Carrie Underwood. The boys and I love you like crazy. We are so grateful for you. Carrie and Mike have been going strong for nearly 11 years of marriage. Last year, the two got candid about their faith, love, and family, including the challenges they faced. In the four-part short film series, Mike and Carrie Got in Country. Backstage at the 2020 ACM Awards, Carrie told Access Hollywood how getting so open made their relationship even stronger. Just to be able to share our experiences that maybe some other people could relate to and um, know that they're not alone, um, I think that was such a, a great, um, it's just a great opportunity for us to, like I said, share our story. And it was therapeutic too, you know, you don't, you don't get to just kind of freely speak. Um, a lot of times you're, you're in some kind of promo mode or you're on a red carpet and, and things don't really get the chance to kind of go deeper so that, you know, you can kind of share your heart. And it was just a great, um, a great time for that, a great day for that. I mean, we were crying all day long, <laughs> um, but the response has been so great and people just saying, you know, it, it just helps to hear somebody else's story and know that I, we feel the same things and I, I'm not alone.